I feel like we all have a jack. Like we're it's very important. business. Melanie Listen. Griffith, like working girl right now. It's I almost like it. big business. It's all about big business. Really oh my God, top, right? I love it. Yes, yeah, I love I mean, that I'm one nothing too. without a power blazer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nothing. I feel empty. Yes. Um, how did y'all meet? Like, when was the first time y'all met? So Kelly, Jessica was performing at a uh, a comedy theater in New York called the Upright Citizens Brigade, which was an improv theater and underneath a Gristini supermarket. <laughs> yes, very okay. glamorous. Super classy. Very glamorous. <laughs> and one of my best friends, Casey Wilson, yeah. we were performing a show there, and yeah. Jessica was already kind of an established vet. And by that I mean, I was cleaning the toilets <laughs> so that I could get my classes for free. Yes. And these ladies rolled in, did none of that. <laughs> they didn't have to work for their... <laughs> Got an 8 p.m. slot, and I'm like, who are these <laughs> I'm so sorry. Who it's are these it's hard to be this talented. People just want to lift you up. They just lift you up, like, so as you come in. We skip a few steps. Yeah. And, and some of the women in the yeah. theater had feelings about that. Yeah. But Casey and I saw Jessica do a show, and I was like, I've never seen someone so funny, so beautiful. We were obsessed with her. And we locked eyes with her, and I was like, she will be our friend. Yeah. Casey and I were living together. We knew Jessica was going to come out to drinks with us. Yep. We were worried about what we were wearing. We met her at a bar in the East Village. You and wore then, your power blazer. Of I mean, of I had to. <laughs> of course. And then Casey, one of the first questions out of Casey's mouth to Jessica, which I was so mad at her about, she goes, so what are you doing with your pubes? <laughs> oh, my. And I said, oh, excuse me? And I was so angry at her. And I said, we were walking home in the East Village. And I said, you blew it. You but blew she it didn't. with Jessica St. Clair. That was when she had me. That was when, that you know, was when she had me because I, I thought, found my people. I found yes. my people. Oh, oh my yeah. God. There you are. Um, so, so that's how we met. And then through the years, you know, Jessica and I have auditioned for shows together and been up for a lot of the same roles. If she um, doesn't get it, I do, and vice versa. One I time she had to share. drop out and they wanted to protect my feelings. They were like, do you want this prize out? Of course, I'm free. <laughs> and so I rolled in and they were like, all the clothes are your size. I'm like, oh, I know. Cause my best friend was supposed to do this role. <laughs> and they were like, oh God, you know. Okay, wait, I want to know about the deep dive. Do you cover important life-changing topics like, like this? Yes, oh, yeah. like our bikini lines, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the podcast is really, <laughs> is really about how we are surviving adult womanhood, yeah. motherhood, yeah. our friendships, aging parents, cancer, yeah. uh, all of the things that life has dealt us yeah. and how so many of our girlfriends are doing it with Joy with laughter, you know, our girls' night. You it's have so to true. laugh. No, we couldn't do it without each other. We yeah. couldn't survive. If yeah, you no. took away our best friends, we would not. We would have failure to thrive. Yeah, it oh, would just yeah. be an empty. No, I'm with you. Suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Know. you can never have too many friends. So let's bring out another pair of besties. One you can see now in the latest season of Woke on Hulu, and the other you can see in Grand Crew on NBC. Together, they also have a podcast. It's called. Best friends, and that's appropriate. <laughs> uh, give it, there's no hiding that. Uh, give it up for Nicole Byer and Sashir Zameda. <laughs> At this point, Nicole, I feel like you're a co-host. I feel like yes. you've been here a few times. I have. Yes. Thank you for having me back. And just had Zashir on. Yes, so yes. And we literally were talking I about like. Leave. I know. I was like, <laughs> oh, it's a nice dressing room. <laughs> um, so like them, y'all met in improv as well. You were telling me, right? Last yes. time? Yeah. yeah. Also at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I didn't know it was the yes. same yes. one. I didn't yeah. put that together. I didn't remember. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. She was like really cool. She was wearing this like <laughs> turquoise sweater and a goldenrod shirt. Mm -hmm. And she had... <laughs> <laughs> and she had a fro, and she was like so oh. funny, and I was like, I love her, and, <laughs> and I want to be her friend. Yeah. So then I like made it a point to make her my friend, and I won. Forced friendships. <laughs> yes. Forced we talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so your podcast is called Best Friends. Was that just you were like, yep, that's the name? Like you were like just. Yeah, we really didn't think about it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Like. This is what we are. This yeah. is what we are. This is what we're going to talk about. Uh -huh. And we talk about friendships on the show. We talk about our friendship. Uh -huh. We catch up. And then we also answer 
people's friendship questions. Yeah. And I didn't know the plethora yeah. of oh. questions there could be about about friendships. friendship. Yeah. Because yeah. it is a relationship. And I think there's so many things talking about romantic mm -hmm. relationships or families, but not a ton about friendship. Okay. And so there's so many mm. people asking how to make friends, how to mm -hmm. keep them, how to deepen your friendships. And it's it's been cool. I feel like it's helped our friendship too, because we get to analyze it more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's a real thing. I've actually, it was so funny. I, I, I don't see who we're talking to, but my sister and I were talking to somebody um, and they were like, I'm having a hard time like finding friends. And, and she was asking us and my sister and I were like, what? We literally just, we just, we had just gone to Target and ran into like two or three women that we had full on conversations mm -hmm. with. That like, and I was like, I think it's just hard if you're an introvert. Like we're extroverts. Yeah. So like, I think if you're an introvert, it is a hard thing to kind of like, have y'all always been like extroverts? Like, yes. oh yeah. Unfortunately, me. yes. I love, wait, can we just yeah. pause at the idiotic question I should ask women in improv? Like, yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. I, you are? I am. See, it's people. not a dumb question. It's not a dumb question. No. Yeah, there yeah. are no dumb questions. I found out in fourth grade. Um, so, that's, so that's, wait, you're an introvert? I am, so it is helpful to have a best friend who's an extrovert because yeah. she pulls me out of my shell a lot. I would yeah. never have guessed that I'll be that like, come it. over here and get in a waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, literally. Unfortunately <laughs> for oh, Jessica God. and I, you know, we don't like to go out at the same time because we feel like it's too much for the world. <laughs> the vibrational energy might be too it's high too, and we're too much. Yeah. So it, was there a moment that y'all knew, like, you know, it was your ride or die person? Yeah, we, uh, we got dinner pretty oh. early. <laughs> In, a, in our in our friendship, and uh -huh. Nicole ordered a salad. Um, I okay, can't. it's in my defense. I it's love like, that you're defending <laughs> it. I haven't even said the okay, thing yet. But I know what you're gonna say. You're defending the salad <laughs> choice. Okay, it was it was a Caesar salad, but deconstructed, meaning I had to assemble it. And if I wanted to assemble something, I could have stayed home. But, <laughs> it was, you had to assemble it? Yeah, and they brought you the romaine, and then the, the chicken was over here, then the croutons what? were over here, and then I said, can I have bacon? And then they brought the wrong bacon. They brought the wrong bacon. <laughs> they it was... brought bits, <laughs> and I didn't want bits. But then, and this is like, like third time was not the charm. So she, uh, they got bits, <laughs> and then she wanted a different version, but they brought like a slab. And then she... It was like, it was like a, a steak of bacon. It was so thick. And yeah. I said, this is not the right one. And I threw it against the wall. Yeah. And she oh threw my it my God. on the wall. And it just like stuck there for no. a minute and like slid no. down. And we both sat across each other silent. And I was like, I'm not going to say anything right now. I'm going to wait for her to say something. And then eventually she was like, that was too much, right? And I was like, yes! <laughs> yes, it was! Yes, you're crazy! <laughs> I was like, at least she got there by herself. <laughs> you know why? Here's the thing. You didn't really want the salad. That's the anger. That's where it started. Oh, no. Salads, I don't, yeah, I don't go I out too for much for salads. therapy. Yeah. That, was, <laughs> like, that was is like, exactly why I was so angry. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like, the bacon that I wanted. <laughs> oh, my God. But they closed, so I got the last hop. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hated they their They made salad. you make, make their food. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so what was your ride or die moment? Gosh. You know, I uh, this is a little bit of a tearjerker moment, but I had breast cancer about six years ago now. And um, this one summoned me in the middle of treatment to the Four Seasons where she was using as her Starbucks. <laughs> we didn't have any money. There. We didn't have any money. She would take a table and just order sparkling water <laughs> and answer emails. So she said, maybe at the Four Seasons. And I showed up and I you know, I said, it. listen, I go June. And I don't know why I felt like June was the authority on my health when I had some very um, good doctors. <laughs> but I said, June, like, do you think I'm gonna make it? And she goes, just like regally, she probably was in a blazer. She goes, oh, I have no, no question you're gonna make it. What I'm interested in is your mental health. So I'm gonna, and I feel like she took out a Rolodex. I know that wasn't true, but she was like, I'm gonna send a multitude of healers to you. And I said, what? <laughs> Cut to, ding dong. Like, I'm gonna lay hands on you. My name's Ethan. Like, um, <laughs> I need to sage your house. Like, I'm, I do witchcraft. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and that's what she did for me. Um, and, and it was, it, to know that, I don't know what it is, when you ask your best friend, do you think I'm gonna be okay, and they say yes, and you believe them, it really did give me the courage to get through the rest of it, and know yeah. I'm gonna be okay, and I am. Absolutely. I mean, look, it is. Better than ever. Okay, better than ever. Okay, and listen. Better than ever. We 
I send over 20 healers. Like, they're not all going to be great. They Some were all going to be weird. Yes, just the numbers aren't going to always work out. The but. numbers are against yeah. you, but yeah. someone will work out.